So I gotta come clean about something. I love clowns. I think clowns are wholesome and fun and sweet and adorable. I love clowns. And I kind of hate the general culture surrounding how people perceive clowns and how clowns are used in adult fictional media. It just pisses me off a little bit. And we're here to talk about Big Top Burger because it stands in glowing defiance of that. Big Top Burger is adorable. It is sweet. It is charming. It exists to spread joy and merriment. It's incredibly wholesome. I want to talk about what's great about Big Top Burger, why it makes such a good clown, and why you should watch it because it's free. You just type Big Top Burger into YouTube and it's free. The whole thing's free. Just, you can watch it right now and you should. Alright, let's get this started. Let's talk about these four goofballs working in a themed food truck. So the essence of Big Top Burger is that it's a work com, which is a term I heard somewhere. It's like sitcom, but you put the word work where sit is, which is weird because work is a situation, so you figure it would still fit under sitcom just fine, but... Anyway, a sitcom is only as good as the characters reacting to the situation they're in, so let's talk about the characters. First, there's Penny. She's just outwardly optimistic and sweet and encouraging and just rolls with everything. No matter what insane nonsense is going on and how shocked she is at first about it, she always is really upbeat. She laughs a lot and is gentle and is pretty reassuring to other people, kind of like a mom. The most disappointment or derision she can ever seem to muster is to go, oh, those wacky guys trying to kill us again when her life is seemingly in mortal danger. Then there's Tim, who seems to be in the unique position of being super used to their boss's weird bullshit and also so tired of all this weird bullshit. He's a bit snarky and raises objections more than the other two workers, but it never really goes beyond saying their boss is weird. The last worker is Billy. She speaks in pseudo-monotone and the show would suggest that she's the newest to the food truck. She asks the most questions and when there's anything that can be reasonably kept on track, she seems at least mildly interested in doing that. Her being the newest and asking the most questions makes her the closest thing the show has to a straight man, but just the closest thing. Then there's Steve. He's the boss of Billy, Penny, and Tim, and he's just a bizarre guy. He seems to warp the laws of reality, and nothing he does makes much sense or has any cohesion. His actions, behaviors, and frankly bizarre speech mannerisms only make sense if he's actively trying to entertain an audience. The thing that makes the most internal sense about Steve is that you learn that he was probably a theater kid from the show's theme song and a flashback he has. And so most of the show's absurd humor comes from the three workers reacting to their boss Steve and his just outlandish behaviors. All of the jokes are innocent and G-rated and seem to focus entirely on surrealism and slapstick. Everybody in the show is a clown, it's just Steve is a more overt clown. All of them exist to entertain the audience. Actually, wait, are jokes about smoking jewels G-rated? I mean, it's the default blender object, but it's he still calls it a jewel. It, like, come on, it's fine. It's, it's G-rated enough. The show itself is really impressive to look at with its seamless blend of 3D and 2D animation. It seems to have been produced at a lower frame rate also to get a more pleasing effect to the motion. All of the voice lines, with the exception of what seems to be a cameo from a YouTube food reviewer, seem to be really well done regardless of the varying mic quality. And my personal favorite thing about the voice lines is that all of the characters stutter and have weird breaks in their sentences and just aren't perfect. It's super refreshing because I'm so tired of seeing, seeing shows where everybody speaks flawlessly. It's, it's exhausting. I'm glad these people have, like, realistic speech issues even though they're not realistic people. And as to the actual structure of the show, it seems to have an absolutely amazing idea of how to get across everything it wants to in a really short runtime, under 10 minutes. It's got your clown hijinks, it's got your character development, it's got your work comm sensibilities, it's got your parody of anime caricatures. And it's even got emotional poignancy, when at the end of the show, everybody takes off their hats and they look exhausted, and you see them washing off the face paint and taking off those ridiculous clown noses. You're sort of forced to confront that as goofy and cartoony as this cartoon was, wow, these are just real people working in a food truck, and they're pretty exhausted. All the shit they just went through, that was just one day of their work. There's also some clever world building at the end in regards to Steve and how he's able to do the things he does, but I don't want to spoil that for anyone.
Big Top Burger looks impressive. It has endearing characterization. It has amazing line reads. And frankly, I think it's about damn time that we got a show about clowns made by an adult animator that isn't disgusting or gross. But yeah, please go watch it. It's free. It takes up 10 minutes of your time. It's resting at only about a million views right now, and everybody should give it a look.